staying with Rob because it's not necessarily, he didn't cheat on me. He, he did something he knew would hurt me and it sucks, but I don't think what he's done is, is worth throwing us away. To prove to me in order for me to trust him again, but to be honest, I just don't know if he'll do it or what I even need to see from him. And I just feel like it's not looking good in terms of us being married in 90 days. It doesn't really look realistic. And if anything like this happens again, like I'm leaving, like I'm not, you know, we're actually together now. I'm in America, you have no excuse. Like I have no reason to give you the benefit of the doubt. Like I'm here, you know? In my mind, I don't want anybody else. And I haven't wanted anybody else since I knew, since I met Sophie. But yeah, I am definitely kicking myself that I was, that I've made any mistakes. Hmm. <laughs> What's going on, people? Rob didn't do anything that warrants me to break up with him because he didn't initially cheat on me. Interesting. It's funny she says that because this isn't the first time Rob has broken their trust. Do you know what I mean? This isn't the first time Rob has gone out of bounds. He's done this before. How many times does Rob have to step out for Sophie to realize that this guy doesn't value her? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Or at least doesn't respect their relationship. You know, Sophie goes on to talk about distance. Talks about, well, maybe it was a distance. And now we're together. I can give, I, I, I don't have to give you the benefit of the doubt. Really? Really? Hmm, interesting. It is interesting what reasons or excuses people give themselves to stay with somebody. To forgive someone. To allow someone to, to, to carry on taking advantage of their kindness. And you know what, in this situation, it's not even kindness of their stupidity. If he does it once and you forgive him, all right, cool. He does it twice. Any more than twice. Twice and more. It's just pure stupidity from your side. It's just that simple. Why would you want to be with somebody that is a re-offender? What is the benefit? There is none. Apart from you being drained as hell. You being insecure as hell. I mean, the best way to explain it is... You end up becoming like a jasmine and nobody wants to become like a jasmine <laughs> unless you like that side of life then yay you do you but stay away from me you know what i mean <laughs> don't like that kind of energy not for me so the more and more i look into or the more and more we we we, we, we watch their relationship the more and more i wonder why they're even together and sometimes i sit and i said to myself maybe they're together because of the image there's a lot of people in this world that are together because of the image, because they look good together. That is the thing. Because really and truly, I promise you now, and I'd like to imagine that everyone here, if they went through the same thing that Sophie's going through with Rob, they'd be off skis. If you would stay, I want to know why. Help me understand. Why would you stay? Knowing that your man has been doing a madness several times. And then on top of that, you've got him saying that how since I've met Sophie, I've never wanted anybody else. OK, if that's true, then why have you entertained other women? If I know that the person that I'm with is the only person that I want, then why the hell would I want to entertain other women? What benefit? What do I get out of it? I get nothing out of it. Clarity? No. Satisfaction? No. I get nothing out of it because they're not the person that I want, according to him. So if Sophie was really that to him. He wouldn't have been doing it. He wouldn't have been moving mad in the first place. So, hey, he can say all of that nonsense all he wants. But I ain't buying it. You dig? Hmm. <laughs> but we continue. I'm still going to check your phone so I can trust you again. That's fine. Every time that you think about my mistakes from the past, remind yourself about our potential future. Really? Really? Imagine that moving forward means you now want to check your partner's phone all the time. And then on top of that, he says each time he's basically saying each time I mess up, just remember our future. Each time I trigger you, just remember our future. Wow, that sounds like pure stability there, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't feel like I'm going to find somebody who's closer to what I want than who Sophie is. You know, she is who I want and her personality is what I want. The person that I see us, you know, her being and who we are 10 years from now, what I want in life work who she is who i am work as long as we can push out all the negative things we will work and i feel confident in that is it me or am i making this up but didn't they literally just have an argument about the fact that he wants kids and sophie says that that's not a guarantee for her yes they spoke about ideas of how to have children but they were literally not even on the same page but okay sophie has everything that he wants everything that he desires okay cool Hmm, interesting. I find it quite interesting how the world has now been normalized to believe that sometimes it's okay for somebody to walk out on the other person and to cheat on them. 
because when they come back, they realize what they have and they should never do it again. It is quite interesting how that's been normalized. You know, for me personally, I've always grown up with the mentality that like, once the chain has happened, the, the relationship is done out here because, well, guess what? You're in a position where you now have to check your partner's phone all the time, like Sobi freaking just said. Half the time when Rob speaks, to be honest with you, I, I, I just want to go deaf. I mean, I feel the same about Sophie, to be fair, but more for him because I know whatever's coming out of his mouth is going to be some something that's going to be utter freaking BS. Something that isn't going to be genuine. It's going to be utter just garbage because you see with Rob now, <laughs> he just loves to manipulate the situation. He likes to manipulate the situation so it, it, so it is to his own benefit. You know what I mean? He likes to sugarcoat over things. You know? That's what he does. Nothing else but that. But you know what though, Sophie accepts it. She accepts it. She's happy with it. Yes, I say happy with it because she continues to be in the relationship with this guy. Meanwhile, he's out here talking about the future, this, the future, that. Okay, was you thinking about the future when you was entertaining other women? <sighs> Sophie forgets one other thing as well. This guy was moving so mad that he was in a position where he allowed his friend and himself to put Sophie in a position where they try to make her feel bad for being on, a, on an app. Now, I'm not saying that her being an app to meet friends is something that should be okay, but what I'm trying to say is they were trying to revert it. It's like Rob was trying to see if he can catch her out. So if he caught her out, then he can be like, well, you did it, so I, so I can too. You know people who do that tick for tack? Well, if I cheat, then I'll give you a whole pass. <laughs> Yeah, we see how that worked out for Kalani and, and, and a sweater, right? But you know how certain things like that are being normalized nowadays? It is weird, man. I guess this is why a lot of people don't want to put effort in relationships anymore because they expect it to, to fail. They expect it to go downhill. They expect it to just go kaput. <laughs> the world that we live in, eh? I'm going to give him a chance because obviously, like, it's not a normal relationship and it's not like he was doing that while we were together in the same house. We was apart for, like, eight months or whatever. This is we'll get one day, oh, he's being so nice, I'm going to give him another chance, and then the next day, oh, I can't believe what you said, what he's done. It's called insanity. Staying with someone, expecting a different result. I'll cheat him because I tracked his phone and he doesn't know, and he was always just in his house. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel it? It's like, that's how I know he's ever cheated in real life, so it makes me feel bad. For me personally, this whole tracking his phone for three years is that she says, I don't really buy it because you're telling me that in that whole time his phone never lost, like, signal, his phone was never, like, been turned off. Really? I mean, listen, if this is true, then it's true in it. But boy, that's just weird as hell. <laughs> to be, if I found out that I was being tracked for like a whole three years or whatever, pfft, yeah, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out because I, I feel stalked. I feel violated, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, she can think it's funny, but it's not. But either way, though, let's talk about the mum. What the mum says is point blank on point. This is pure sanity. And this is definitely on her. She's the one that's allowing herself to continue this chain of events, you know? And the fact that she's ignoring what her mum is saying is a problem. She should be listening to what her mum is saying. Okay, because at the end of the day, you can't expect a different result to somebody that keeps making the same mistake over again and again and again. And this is what I was saying before. This is not his first time. And then just to add on top of that. He makes you happy 35.8% of the time. Unless you're happy, I can't be happy. And if I see you super sad, I just want to be psycho on it. And I don't want to have to do that. Yeah. When you look at flights, I can come in a week or two weeks. You can't be mean to Rob when you're here. Like, you have to try and get along with him, you know? Not for myself. Because at the end of the day, I'm a medical princess and I feel like it's an SOS. I'm not even going to feel optimistic about the mum coming and confronting Rob because I felt like the same thing was going to happen with Mary and freaking Brandon, but it never happened. So I'm not even going to be optimistic about it, but you never know that. I really hope that she does come in and really kind of like gaslights a few. No, no, um. Mm, is it gaslight? No, um, stirs the pot. Yeah, 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 that's the one. I feel like the pot really needs to be stirred because right now, you know, um, Sophie isn't seeing the light, you know, and she needs to really see Rob's actions in action. Do you know what I mean? So, mum coming and staying on the pot a little bit and seeing how it reacts will be phenomenal. But at the same time, though, it is evident that Sophie's already expect expecting the mum to act a certain way. So, therefore, if anything, whatever her mum does is probably not going to work because she's probably going to be like, it's just my mum doing it because my mum's being a hater. So to be fair, oh, even that doesn't work, does it now? Hmm, interesting. But hey, mum is coming. So that's going to be very, very interesting to see. Definitely want to see how that works out, you know, to see obviously how, uh, how Rob decides to handle that. But with that being said, though, thank you so much for your time. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about it. Peace.